On to the first question. Do you think there is any correlation between the crops grown in your region and the seasons? Find out by discussing with your elders and friends and write a short essay on it. Do you think there is any correlation between the crops grown in your region and the seasons? Yes, I think there is a correlation between the crops grown and the seasons. The crops cultivated in rainy season from mid-June to November are called as Kharif crops. The crops cultivated from November to February is a winter crop that is called as a Rabi crop. And in summer, we have the Zayat crop season. So, according to the season, the crop is decided because the temperature, the humidity, the water content, everything plays a major role in the healthy growing of the crops. On to the next question. Why do you think does Telangana not receive any snowfall during winter months? So, we know the snowfall generally occurs in the polar region. That is the polar zone, frigid zone. As Telangana lies in the tropical zone, it has high temperature. So, it does not receive any snowfall during winter. So, that is the reason why we do not have snowfalls during winter months. On to the next question. We have a rainy season. How do you think it is related to the movements of the earth and the pattern of sun's rays? Does it occur in the summer or winter or in the season in between? Let's see how the rain occurs. Rain occurs because of the depression caused by the difference in temperature and the movement of the monsoon winds. This difference in temperature occurs because of the movement of the earth and the pattern of sun rays. So, it is very clear that rain occurs only because of the movement of the earth and the pattern of the sun rays which creates a difference in the temperature. The uh, air from the high pressure area moves to the low pressure area. Then when does it occur? Rainy season occurs in the season between summer and winter. On to the fourth question. Collect information about the time of sunrise and sunset for different months of the year in your place. Calculate the duration of day and night. How many hours every day for every month? Do you see any pattern in this? Yes, there is definitely a pattern in the duration of day and night according to the season. In summer season, the day is longer than night. During rainy season, the duration of day decreases gradually and the duration of night increases resulting in equal duration of day and night. And during winter, nights are longer than day. So, according to the season, the duration of the day and night depends. On to the fifth question. Explain the idea of rotation of the earth to your parents or sister or brothers. Write down their questions or doubts and try to answer them. The first question that might arise is, does the sun rotate? And then how many times does earth rotate in a year? And when earth rotates from west to east, how does sun rise in the east and set in the west? And uh, probably the next doubt might be, when the earth rotates, why doesn't everything fall down from the earth? And many more doubts arise, of course, and only a few of them I have picked up and put. You can add some more doubts and you can write them in the comment section. I would be glad to read them. And if you have any clarification, if you want to know anything about the patterns of rotation, how they influence the day and night and how the seasons occur, uh, you can just post a question there. I will be very glad to clarify your doubts. On to the sixth question. Imagine that the earth does not rotate but goes round the sun around the year. That is no rotation but the revolution occurs. What difference will it make to the seasons and the distribution of temperature? If the earth does not rotate but goes round the sun, day and night won't occur. 
yeah you know rotation is the only reason why we get day and night and one hemisphere will remain day throughout the year and the other would remain night and there won't be difference in the temperatures the seasons won't be uh, won't be in the way that it is occurring as now on to the seventh question identify a country in the temperate belt in both northern and and southern hemisphere the temperate belt lies between the tropic belt and the frigid zone compare the seasons in those countries and your place the countries in northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere have same temperature from march to september as the sun rays fall vertically northern hemisphere is warmer than southern hemisphere in may and june then northern hemisphere is cooler than southern hemisphere in december and january as i reside in the northern hemisphere my region is warmer in may and june and cooler in december and january than the southern hemisphere on to the eighth question what are the six seasons in indian climate The six seasons in Indian climate are Vasanta that is the spring season Grishma that is the summer season Varsha that is the monsoon season or the rainy season Sharad Sharad is the autumn season Hemanta is the winter season and Shishira that is the winter and snowfall On to the ninth question Read the first paragraph of this chapter and answer the following questions. What is the impact of seasons on the lives of human beings? The impact of seasons on the lives of human beings are the changes in clothing that is in summer we use cotton clothes in winter we use woolen clothes food habits that is we eat hot things in winter and cool things in summer. festivals according to the seasons there are festivals celebrated trade the business also depends agriculture which crop and what season that also depends sleeping patterns according to the duration of day and night the sleeping patterns also change along with the seasons hope this session was useful to you in getting to know about the details of this lesson Please let me know how I can help you further in updating your knowledge. If you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section. I do believe you will share with your friends. Subscribe, click the like button and also write your opinion in the comment section. Thank you and have a great day ahead.